Namaste. Please be welcome to the wonderful world of Ayurveda. Oh. And now that we have reduced the amount of water from 16 times to 4 parts from 180 milliliters to around 270 milliliters, we are going to make the ball, okay? The ball. Please pay attention. We have here half of X. In the other video, we were explaining that this is a mixture of cardamom, um, calamus aromaticus, and uh, centella asiatica, and uh, ginkgo biloba. It is 15 grams of ela cardamom, 15 grams of manduca pornis, centella asiatica, 7.5 grams of uh, 15 grams of calamus aromaticus, 7.5 of centella asiatica, and 7.5 of um, ginkgo biloba. This is for water, kappa, and pitta. Well, this part is going to enter there, okay? But before that, we need some warm, oil, warm water to make the bowl. We are going to add very slowly this water here. Little by little. Until we get the point that we can make one ball. Look, please. And we start to mix. Please clean your hands before doing that. Because this is going to make uh, medicated oil for Anutaila for nausea, right? So now we have still a large amount of dry stuff. We need them to be not so dry, not, not so moisture. And please go slowly with this space, okay? Because if it passes, you have some trouble. So now, we are going to mix all this mixture, all this churna, for make the anutaila for nausea and for daily routine use. Here, it's making a point that we can mold it in a uh, shape that is not going to be so much um, how do you say that it's not going to dissolve easily because this is going to make us more precise in the point that we need to stop when making the medicated oil for internal use. Alright? Look, usually the way that we learn how to make medicated oils is without this um, ball thing. It has a Sanskrit name. I'm forgetting it now. But the thing is that we are going to study the point of um, cooking of the oil. The first point of cooking we are going to see is the point of cooking that it's very, very um, it stills a little bit dry. We are not going to make just like one large ball. We are going to make small balls because they need to be inside the mixture there. In Portuguese, in Brazil, we have a thing, uh, uh, candy, that we call brigadeiro. It's just like this round stuff. We're going to make some of them. And then they're going to be inside the oil cooking. They allow us to be with more precise point of stopping the cooking but it also stabilizes the, the temperature in the mixture 
so it makes more um, homogeneous, more um, reliable um, process. If we don't do this um, this way, if we do on the regular way that we learned with the one part of um, herbs, four parts of oil and 16 parts of water, boil them until the water is evaporated. The, po the stopping point that uh, the water does not show anymore is the point that uh, the oil is fit for external use. But for internal use, we need to make in this fashion, the Kerala fashion, the South Indian fashion, because it's the place where they develop much more uh, knowledge about medicating oils. Kerala, till nowadays, is uh, known in India, one of the places where you can get the most uh, reliable and most powerful medicated oils. Right? There are some historical reasons for that, but now we are not going on them. We are just preparing some medicated oil for internal use. In this case, the internal use is for the nose. It also can be for the eyes. It also can be for the um, colon. It can also be for the ears. All the internal membranes can be with medicated oils. There are some people that say that the column uh, oils for basti, for enema, should be in the first degree of potency. And the, there are others who say that nasi should be in the first degree of potency. It depends. It's a kind of controversy. But uh, here we are going to make a, a little bit more strong nasi. So we have these five balls, like this Panchamaha balls. <laughs> and this is 300 more or less ml of oil. This is more or less 270 grams of oil, which means that it's four times the amount of the herbs okay so now we are going to start the second part of the cooking we don't need to stop this uh, the way I'm doing I just stop because it's easier to teach okay and again the way that uh, the flame the height that the flame is working it makes difference in how strong and penetrating the oil gets. If we get on very high flame, the oil is going to be more uh, useful for purgative um, purpose, like shodana therapies, like in Pancha Karma. But if you want more nourishing uh, and easy going, smooth going oils, we can go with uh, a little bit less powerful flame. If you have this kind of um, industrial um, machines, it's easier to manipulate the flame. But if you don't, you can use the return fire. I'm not going to teach this, uh, it's only for people that know how to do it already. Okay, now we went, we go with the Panchamaha balls <laughs> and uh, we, they are going to be cooking for more around half an hour or something more like that. It doesn't matter if all the ball is not inside the oil, it's okay. And uh, after the cooking has uh, gone a little bit further, I'm going to show how we can make the uh, assessment of the oil, okay? So, now we have around 270 
grams of oil here, one part of oil. 270 grams of water, one part of water. It was four times and it was reduced to one fourth. And we have like 90 grams of powder here, okay, um, to medicate the oil. And this is going to be cooking slowly till the water is almost fully evaporated. It's going to be around 5 or 6 percent water. And the oils that we use certainly is around 3 to 4 percent water. This little difference makes a very strong uh, impact if we use oils internally. Oils internally, like for nausea in the nose, for uh, nitra in the eyes, for basti in the colon, and this kind of stuff, our membranes are more as, mm, fragile. And uh, this amount of wa water makes the oil less penetrating and less aggressive, right? Uh, I still don't have a very proper video explaining how to use it, the Anotyla. I'm going to speak this in the next one, in the finishing process, right? Now I have more like half an hour, one hour. It's just the time to be with the cooking process. Namaste. Yeah, it's possible. You can take care of your health by online counseling. Namaste.